consider a pet rat for your family. The earliest documented evidence of domesticated rats originates from Japan and dates back to the Edo period, 1603 to 1868. The tradition of keeping fancy rats may have originated in Japan, but pet rats have become more mainstream over the years. The term fancy rat is used to refer to a rat that has been bred to be a pet as opposed to a wild rat. The standards for fancy rats are set by the American Fancy Rat and Mouse Association, AFRIMA. Rats can make excellent pets for the right family. Rats as pets face a lot of stigmas as they have been branded as vermin, but they make loving pets that can be trained just like any dog. Some rats can even be trained to execute highly complex tasks such as sniffing out landmines. To stay up to date with latest top stories, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel by clicking the button above this video. While there are a wide variety of domestic rats out there, they all stem from the brown rat, Rattus norvegicus. That is why domestic rats have blunt noses, smaller ears and eyes, and a tail that is the same length as their body. While there is some variation due to genetic variants that resulted in the hairless rat, commonly, all pet rats share the same features. Keep reading to find out more about the different types of pet rats and all the varieties that exist today. The Standard Rat The standard rat is as close to the wild brown rat as you can get. These rats eat a standard rat diet and they don't need any specific requirements. To care for a standard rat, you need a cage that has floors made out of solid material, so no wire, to keep their feet and legs safe. The floor should not be made out of wood as it can absorb urine which can lead to lung problems. The top and sides of the cage can be made out of wire to improve airflow. For an adult pet rat, the cage should be at least 14 by 12 by 24. You should stay away from pine or cedar shavings as they are toxic to rats. Your rat needs a shelter or sleeping box in the cage. Litter and bedding need to be cleaned twice a week. The temperature should remain below 90 degrees Fahrenheit to prevent heat streak. Standard rats eat laboratory pellets or lab blocks. Include a water bottle that allows your rat to drink when needed, as water bowls can be spilled. Your pet rat needs 0.16 to 0.19 ounces of food per 3.22 ounces of body weight. An average adult rat will eat 0.48 to 0.64 ounces of food each day. These listed requirements are the minimum needed to care for a pet rat, so you can add more items, as long as they are appropriate for rats to use. Rats need love and affection in order to bond with their owner, so in the same way, you'd spend time with a new puppy, you need to spend time with your new pet rat. The Rex Rat The name of the Rex Rat comes from the Rex mutation. The Rex mutation is a genetic variation found in mammals that leaves them with soft curly fur. The whiskers and eyelashes of Rex rats also tend to have a curl and wooly feel to them. This is why Rex rats are sometimes referred to as sheep rats. If a Rex rat has two of the Rex genes, its fur, eyelashes and whiskers are tightly curled. As Rex rats age, their fur starts to thin out, which can result in some bald spots. The Manx rat. Like the Rex rat, the Manx rat is visibly different from a standard rat. Manx rats don't have full tails. They only have a tail stub, giving them the appearance of not having a tail at all. Unlike the standard rat, Manx rats require extra care due to their tailless appearance. A rat's tail plays a large role in a rat's balance and self-care. So Manx rats will need additional care to ensure they are healthy and happy. The Sphinx Rat Like a Sphinx cat, the Sphinx rat is a rat variation that is hair-free. The hairless rat is selectively bred to ensure they stay completely hair-free. The Sphinx rat isn't recommended as a pet as they can get sick incredibly easily and require additional care to keep them warm. The main reason they aren't recommended as pets is that, if there is a demand for them, then breeders will continue to breed this type of rat without caring that the rats suffer. The Dumbo Rat Unlike the standard rat, the Dumbo rat's ears are lower down the side of its head and are much larger than other rat ears. Dumbo rats appear to have larger heads than other rat types. Other than the difference in appearance, Dumbo rats don't require any additional care. Consider pet rats for your next companion. While pet rats aren't many people's first thought when picking a pet, their loving nature and friendly disposition make them great companions. 
Dogs and cats have been the go-to pet for years, with hamsters and birds popping up as an option here and there, while rats have been left behind. So consider getting a pet rat as your next companion to experience how amazing these creatures can truly be.